This Bible study is going to be on fake news or media lies. And I want to read a verse from the Bible, Romans chapter 3 and verse 4. God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. So is the news media run by men? Oh yeah. So that means every man a liar, and that includes me. Let God be true, but every man a liar. All right, let's take a look. Now, who controls the news media? Well, let me explain something to you. There is an, an agency of the government called the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. And from their own website, they say, the Federal Communications Commission regulates, that's a fancy word for saying controls, regulates interstate and international communications by radio, television, wire, satellite, and cable in all 50 states, the District of Columbia and U.S. territories, an independent U.S. government agency overseen by Congress. Oh, we can trust Congress, right? The Commission is the United States' primary authority for communication law, regulation, and technological innovation. That's www.fcc.gov backslash about dash FCC backslash what dash we dash do. There's a link in the description. So basically, this is how it works. If you want to start a radio station or a cable network, television, whatever, you have to get a license from the FCC. What's a license? A license is permission. Well, don't you, uh, when you want to drive a car, don't you have to go to the Driver's License Bureau and you got to pay the government money to get permission, a license. That's all a license is. It's permission from the government to drive your car on so-called public roads. Guys, when you want to go fishing, don't you have to get a fishing license? Gals, if you uh, wanted to start a bakery, you know, you're a really good cook and you know how to make pies and what have you, don't you have to go and get a business license? I mean, you just can't open up you know, your doors and start selling pies, the government will come in and say, where's your business license? Why, you haven't been inspected by the health inspector. You see, they got to give you permission. The government controls everything. And the radio, the TV, the cable, the satellite, everything is controlled by the government, the FCC. You see, yes, I know occasionally the TV stations will expose something evil that the government does, but it's usually minor stuff. Oh, the police uh, beat this unarmed man who was handcuffed and homeless. You know, that'll be on the TV. But uh, the really, really, really big stuff, never hear it. Absolutely never hear it. Uh, matter of fact, the... London, England has like, I, I think it's like 12 or 13 daily newspapers. And I'll tell you what, I learn more about what's going on in the United States from the London newspapers and the English newspapers than I do over here. I mean, of course, if I want to hear about what can Kim Kardashian's doing, I mean, I'll be, hey, ABC, CBS, NBC, um, CNN, Oh, what's Kim Kardashian doing? You know, uh, that's what they consider important. So let's face it, people. The FCC controls, regulates all communications. T 
television, cable, radio, they, they got it pretty much lock, stock, and barrel. You cannot start a radio station without permission from the government. Period. So, how come, and the Bible says that all men are liars, so what is, is it fake news or is it media lies? Now in the description box below of this, of this uh, audio video, I guess you could say, I've got links to what I'm about to tell you about. So you can check it out, click on them, find out. Do you know that the government is starting to crack down on what they call fake news sites? Is that, you know, that's your, uh, if you're on the internet, well, guess what? Basically, the FCC has what they call jurisdiction. They just haven't been enforcing it. Well, what about the First Amendment to the Constitution? You know, freedom of speech? Well, yeah, you got freedom of speech as long as you've got a license from the government and as long as you own the, the TV network. So, you know, they're starting to crack down on what they call hate speech. Well, guess what? According to the Jewish Encyclopedia, the greatest anti-Semite that ever lived was a guy named Jesus, who I call Christ. And the most anti-Semitic book in the world, collection of books, is what we call, what I call, the New Testament or the New Covenant. Yeah, they do. Now, there was an article in the LA Times, December 19th, 2008. I got a link. The article's titled, Who Runs Hollywood? Come on. And it was written by Joel Stein. That's a nice Jewish boy's name. And the very last sentence, well, last two sentences, actually, and I quote, But I don't care if Americans think we are, or we're, and who does he talk about? He's talking about we Jews. But I don't care if Americans think we're running the news media, Hollywood, Wall Street, or the government. I just care that we get to keep running them. Now, I ask you a question. Does anything on TV exalt Jesus Christ? Uh, no. No. Absolutely not. What's on TV? Well, if it's not violence and killing and explosions and murder, it's sex. And if it's not sex, it's witchcraft. You know, Harry Potter, uh, Star Wars The Force, you know, just whatever. I mean, it's just, oh, uh, vampires, werewolves, witches. I mean, just... You know, does any of that exalt the Bible, the God of the Bible? Now, if these people claim to be Jews, why aren't they promoting, you know, the Torah, the, the Old Testament, as we call it, the God of Abraham and Isaac and the God of Jacob? Why? In Matthew chapter 7, and verse 18, Jesus speaking said, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, cut down, is hewn down and cast into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Huh. Some people will tell you that's works-based salvation. 
Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter in the kingdom of heaven. See, they believe, and they call him Lord. See, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Right. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. See, what you do is proof of what you believe. Let's face it. You know, just because you claim to believe in Jesus, but you're producing movies about witchcraft, exalting witchcraft and Satanism and the occult with violence and, and, and sex, I mean, you know, uh, promoting prostitution and uh, homosexuality and lesbianism and, you know, is that good fruit? Or is that bad fruit? You know? And and I, you know, even when I was an, an unsaved little kid, I mean, probably what? In elementary school, probably sixth, fifth, sixth grade. I used to look at all the garbage on TV, and I, I never really liked television that much. There was a few shows I liked and watched, but generally as a whole, I didn't like uh, television. And I used to always tell people, how can television for six days, Monday through Saturday, have filth and garbage on it? And then on Sunday morning, they got, you know, Billy Graham and TV preachers on begging for money. And then after, you know, afternoon, you know, or one o'clock in the afternoon, it's back to the filth programming. So basically for six days and three quarters, you got filth and garbage on TV. And then Sunday morning, you got uh, praise of Jesus. Uh, let's pay your tithe. Uh, uh, send God a blessing. Here's our address. Yeah. Send God your money. Here's our address. Yeah. You know, I always wondered about that. So, you know, who owns the media? People that claim to be, well, they claim to be Jews. I mean, Joel Stein, I mean, why would he lie about Jewish ownership of the media? I mean, it just, you know, why would he do that? It just doesn't make any sense. And besides, Jack Warner, you know, Warner Brothers, he was Jewish. MGM, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, that was a Jewish company. I mean, I could, you know, keep going, but I mean, you know, what's the point? All right, um, let's take a look. You know, let's take a look at Revelation chapter 9. Jesus said, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Now I ask you, does the media exalt Jesus Christ or does it exalt Satan? I think you know the answer to that. All right. I mean, why would Joel Stein say, but I don't care if Americans think we are, you know, Jews, if we're running the news media, Hollywood, Wall Street, or the government, I just care that we get to keep running them. They're, they got the um, FCC and the government's getting to the point where they're going to start banning what they call fake news websites. They're going to start regulating news. And by the way the current hate laws are on the books, guess what? They could ban the Bible. I can read you a lot more than Re Revelation 2.9, Revelation 3.9, where Jesus blasts what he calls the synagogue of Satan. Do you know in England, Germany, France, I could go to jail for preaching those verses. Do you know that you can go to jail for questioning, did, did six million Jews really die in the the, in, in the Holocaust in Germany, you can go to jail. People are going to jail for saying it's impossible for six million Jews to die in the Holocaust because, 
I mean, that was like almost the entire population, the Jewish population in, in, in all of Europe was about that many. So, you know, before the war, there was that many. And then after the war, there's that many. How, where, did, where did all these come from? Did they all double their population in you a know, few years in the, you know, after the war? Go to jail. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you know that the largest publisher of so-called Christian books in the United States is owned by the parent company of the Fox Network? Fox, Rupert Murdoch. And I've got, in the description box, i got links to all this stuff, unless they change it. Now, Harper Harper Collins is owned by the News Corp. The News Corp is Rupert Murdoch. The News Corp owns Fox. They own Harper Collins. Harper Collins owns Zondervan, which is the largest English publisher of Bibles. Um, they have the exclusive printing contract for the number one selling NIV Bible, the New International Version based on the Vatican Catholic Pope-approved Bible manuscripts. And believe it or not, the entire book of Revelation is not in those manuscripts. And yet they'll tell you that they're the oldest, most reliable. The oldest, most reliable manuscripts don't have the book of Revelation in it. Maybe it doesn't belong, right? So HarperCollins owns Zondervan the largest so-called Christian book company in the United States and the English-speaking world. What else does HarperCollins print? They print The Joy of Gay Sex, written by a, uh, what's his name? Nice Jewish guy. Silver, what's his name? Silver, Silverberg, something like that. HarperCollins also prints The Satanic Bible by the Church of Satan. So the parent company that prints the NIV Bible, the number one selling NIV Bible in churches, also prints the Satanic Bible by the Church of Satan. Isn't that wonderful? The book of Amos says, how can two walk together except they be agreed? You know, what, what fellowship hath light with darkness? How can a company print the Satanic Bible and the NIV Bible unless... They're the same thing. Yes, HarperCollins and Zondervan prints the uh, King James Bible, but the thing is, only Zondervan can print the NIV, copyright. Anybody can print the King James. There is no copyright in the United States. In England, the English crown, the Queen of England and the, the crown, the royal family own the rights to the King James Bible. But in the United States... They have no such claim. Anybody can print the King James Bible. I can print the King James Bible. So, do you trust the company that prints The Joy of Gay Sex, written by a Jewish author, and the, the Satanic Bible by the Church of Satan, to print books about Jesus? Really? And, and Fox, you know, Fox is supposed to be the conservative network? Really? And that's one of the six companies that owns... There's six companies. There's six major companies that own the media people. Want to know who they are? Now, there's a uh, thing called the Business Insider... And um, there's an article written by an Ashley Lutz, L-U-T-Z. Uh, let's see. It was written in on June 14th and printed in 2012. So, you know, it's a little bit dated, but, you know, it's still valid, I'm sure. Um, General Electric owned NBC for a number of years, you know, GE. Did you know GE didn't pay any 
federal corporate income tax in the United States for five years in a row that I know of. GE paid not one penny in corporate income tax for five years. Did NBC, who was owned by GE, report this? No. But if Donald Trump pays less income taxes than, or pays a lot more income taxes than they do, well, that's news, right? So, I don't know about the Business Insider. I don't know who, I don't know who they are. I have no idea. But it uh, looks like a legitimate news source. Um, let's see. All right, here's the graphics. All right, well, all right, these six companies are, uh, all right, well, back in 2012, GE did own, was owned, uh, they owned Comcast Cable, which I have for my internet provider, NBC, National Broadcasting Company, Universal Pictures, and Focus Features, which I've never heard of. Uh, the News Corp, you know, Fox, Wall Street Journal, and the New York Post. Then you got Disney. Disney owns ABC, ESPN, Pixar, which is more Disney stuff, right? Miramax and Marvel. And then you got Viacom, which is NBC, Nickelodeon, Black Entertainment Network. I bet you nobody on Viacom's black. The CMT and Paramount. Then you got Time Warner. CNN, HBO, Time, Warner Brothers. Then you got CBS, which is Showtime, Smithsonian Channel, NFL.com, Jeopardy, and 60 Minutes. They own 90% of the media. In 1983, 90% of American media was owned by 50 different corporations. In 2011, 90% of the media was owned by six. So basically, when she wrote this, she says 232 media executives control the information of 277 million Americans. That's almost one media exec to 850,000 subscribers. So, what can I tell you? The big six control 70% of your cable. Um, Comcast NBC merger guarantees control of one of every five hours of television. Monopoly of 11 U.S. markets like New York City and Chicago. Um, you know, what can I tell you? The News Corp owns the top newspapers on three continents. That's America, Australia, and Europe. Let's see. Clear Channel uh, in M-I-N-O-T, North Dakota. They own every radio station there. Clear Channel owns 1,200 radio stations. In 1995, the FCC forbade, would not allow companies to own over 40 radio stations. Yet today, Clear Channel owns 1,200. Wow. You know, it's just, it's unbelievable. You know, it's just, uh, you know, they don't exalt Christ. Absolutely not. I don't know who owns, uh, I wonder who owns NBC now. So let me find out real quick and I'll give you an update. Well, I went to NBC and I was going to uh, look it up, but it started freezing up my computer. And usually when they're doing that, they're putting something on your computer. I mean, I can tell, you know, when my computer doesn't respond, they're, they're downloading some kind of garbage on it. But if you want to, you can go to NBC.com and um, click up who we are and then look up corporate ownership and find out who you know owns it but let's face it there's still only six companies that control you know it, it doesn't matter if it's GE that owns it or if it's somebody else you know 
But um, just remember something. With hate laws, they can ban the Bible. Freedom of speech really doesn't exist anymore. It really doesn't. They've got laws on the books right now. So I strongly suggest that um, get yourself some King James Bibles, put them away. I don't understand. Why is it people, they see this garbage on TV, they believe it, but they don't believe what's in the Bible? You know? I mean, let's face it. It's just, uh, you know, let God be true and every man a liar. But, uh, yeah, that's the thing on fake news. And, uh, yeah, I know this wasn't much of a, uh, it just wasn't much of a, uh, what would you say, Bible study, but, you know, it's just unbelievable. And, oh, by the way, Harper Collins, which owns, which prints the Satanic Bible and the Joy of Gay Sex, that also prints the number one selling NIV Bible, they also sell the New American Bible, which is a Catholic Bible. You know, it just it just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, here it is a company sells a Catholic Bible, Protestant so-called Bible, a satanic Bible by the Church of Satan, gay sex, and then we're supposed to go to the, uh, buy the so-called Christian bookstore and buy books on unbelieving Satanists who want to tell us about what the Bible and, and Jesus and, and his words, what they're all about. Uh, I don't think so. Okay? I don't think so. So, what can I tell you? I mean, it's getting real, people. Persecution's coming. People just don't know it. What did Jesus say about persecution? Oh boy, you won't you won't hear this preached in any pre-trib rapture church. Oh no. John 15 verse 18. John 15 chapter 15 verse 18. Jesus speaking, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Matthew 10 verse 25. It is an it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Ooh. John 15, verse 16. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. Ooh, Jesus broke the Sabbath. Verse 18. Therefore, John 5, 18. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him because he had not only broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. How dare that Jesus do that? John 7, verse 1. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee. For he would not walk in Jewry because the Jews sought to kill him. Persecution, people. Persecution. And do you know that it's uh, they're passing laws on so-called anti-Semitism? Uh, <laughs> you're not allowed... If, if if the Israelis, the Zionist Israelis, drop bombs on Palestinian women and children, unarmed Palestinian women and children, who many of which are Christians, by the way, and they drop bombs on them, and you mention it, you can go to prison for an breaking an anti-Semitism law. Uh, England, Germany, France all passed it. And matter of fact, the United States pa uh, signed it also. Freedom of speech... Criticism in Israel is not allowed freedom of speech. That's anti-Semitism. That's hate. Remember, Voltaire, a philosopher, 
He said, if you want to know who rules over you, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. That's how you know who rules over you. Yeah, you want to criticize Obama? No problem. But, uh, you know, what can I tell you? Just remember, the largest publisher of so-called Christian books in the United States and the world in English, Zondervan, her parent company prints the Satanic Bible from the Church of Satan and the joy of gay sex. Jesus said, by their fruits ye shall know them. And that is Fox News, the right-wing conservative network that prints the Satanic Bible and the joy of gay sex. And hard to believe that the rest of them are considered, you know, the other five networks are considered left-wing and liberal. So if Fox is the good one, and they print the Satanic Bible and Joy of Gay Sex, where does that put the other five? Well, you know what the Bible, well, Jesus says about uh, the right hand and the left hand, right? The left Let's go to Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. You know, it's funny, the Satanic Bible's got a goat uh, on the cover, I believe. Some of, the, some of the printings of the Satanic Bible got a goat, picture of a goat on the front. So, yeah, the right and the left. And if Fox News is considered right-wing, and they're printing satanic material and, and gay sex, well, what's the left doing? Think about that. Persecution's coming, people. Persecution is coming. All right, well, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.